There are so many types of engines on a motorcycle, starting from four and two strokes, commonly used in everyday vehicles. Then there are also premium engines such as the Boxer engine on the BMW R18, V4 on the Ducati motor, V6, V8, and even many more. So in this video, we will discuss one of the engines that car lovers often hear about, especially Mazda cars. But, for this video, the difference is that we will discuss the engine on the motorbike. Wankel engine, or rotary engine, a name that sounds foreign to two-wheel lovers. Well, indeed, because of its rare existence in the world of motorcycles, this engine is usually more synonymous with cars, especially for the Mazda manufacturer. But even though it's rare, in fact, this engine also has a more straightforward configuration than other engines. Conventional engines usually consist of 12 or more parts supporting the working mechanism. This Wankel engine will be clearly very different because of its simplicity. For the first part, the Wankel engine has an eccentric shaft, which works as a crankshaft and a can rod in a conventional engine. And next, to replace the piston, the Wankel engine also has a unique triangular rotor. And, to adjust the rotation of the rotor to match the firing order, eccentric shaft, and the others, there is another component in the form of a gear train in the center of the rotor, which will undoubtedly make the rotation of the rotor more regular. And if we look in more detail, this rotor also has a unique housing like a cylinder block, which part of this house is divided into two parts. Namely, the main rotor housing block, and also the outer side block. Then, besides that, there is also an apex seal in charge of maintaining the engine's internal compression. These components function to keep oil from entering the combustion chamber. And then another part is the spark plug. So, if we try to count, it is clear that with a rough calculation, the number is much less than the parts in conventional engines. Since we are talking about two-wheeled vehicles here, what we discuss in this video is none other than a rotary engine on a motorcycle. This is, of course, for the rotary engine used in the motorcycle it uses a single rotor, which is completed by a pair of side blocks, main housing block, eccentric shaft, and seals. Of course, engineers don't just design these engines for a motorcycle. They have a good reason, because the selection of these engines is definitely based on its advantages. For example, the advantage of using this machine is that it is simpler or has fewer components, making this engine slimmer. And do you know what that means? Of course, at first, it was hoped by all manufacturers that this engine could be more profitable. Now let's get into the working mechanism of this Wankel engine or this rotary engine. As for how it works, at first glance, many think the working system is identical to a two-stroke engine. But in fact, the combustion cycle is more similar to the conventional four-stroke configuration that we usually see in use. Where, each chamber's work cycle is the same. It consists of intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust on every side of the rotor. But, considering the different parts, this process is also done in another way compared to conventional engines. This engine has a unique combustion process, that is, gasoline is sucked in when the rotor moves and creates a vacuum where the gasoline spray, and the incoming air will mix by compression along with the rotation of the rotor. And because the pressure continues to increase, this will also be accompanied by an increase in temperature because the molecules collide. This increasing pressure process is the compression process, and after passing through compression, it enters the next stage, namely combustion, when the engine releases its thrust or power. But, the question is, if the rotor is shaped like that, where will the combustion process take place? Now, the combustion process happens on this side. Still, before the combustion process occurs, where when the position of the spark plug is right on half of one side of the triangle, the spark plug will be pulled first and fire propagation will occur. This condition will last until the rotor is in the middle position and a combustion process occurs. Then, in this case, this process will push the rotor to spin again. And after the combustion process occurs, the rotor will rotate, and the rest of the combustion will be released into the exhaust port. And more or less like that for the working process. It may reveal the question. If the cycle is like that, it means that each side of the rotor does the combustion process, and surely the logic behind this Wankel engine will be faster than a two-stroke engine. We will explain here. The eccentric shaft for the Wankel engine rotates differently from the rotor. Let's look at the rotation of the rotor. 
tier. Each rotation occurs more slowly when compared to the eccentric shaft. And if we count, one rotation of the rotor produces three rotations of the eccentric shaft. So, we can conclude every expansion will occur in two rotations of the eccentric shaft. But that's what makes it unique here because each side of the rotor does the combustion process. So each rotation of the eccentric shaft is equal to one time of the combustion process. And, this is what makes the Wankel engine taste like two strokes engine configuration. And indeed, you will feel surprised. If this engine has such good potential, why is this Wankel engine not being developed at this time? The answer is that we have only discussed the advantages first, which makes us unaware of this engine's side effects or disadvantages. The first drawback is the apex seal which is very easy to break. If that happens, it will obviously be sandpaper, resulting in scratches on the housing wall and the side of the rotor. Do you know what that means? It means we have to replace the housing with a new one. And the next question, how come the apex seal can do that often? Well, let's look at the surface of the intake and combustion parts on this fairly old Wankel engine. From the color alone, it's already different. This shows that there is an extreme temperature difference on every side, and this is what causes the apex seal to crack or break easily. But, nowadays, we can change the apex seal with a ceramic material to increase the durability of the Wankel engine, but with a high price. And that is why the Wankel engine project developed by Felix Wankel was taken over by Volkswagen. The reason, so much budget was spent by NSU to develop this engine, and as a result, their dizziness only ended up nil. This is also the first reason why this rotor engine was not developed by other manufacturers out there. More than that, the disadvantage of this engine is also oil burning, which means, there is additional pollution, which, makes this engine can't pass the regulation of Euro 5. And from earlier on, we talked about the engine without discussing what kind of motorcycle is using this Wankel engine. Okay, while we explain this engine again, we will also give information about some motorcycles that use this Wankel engine. This motorcycle included the Suzuki RE5, then Norton Classic 1988, and the Hercules W2000. Each manufacturer has taken the best step according to them, like the Suzuki RE5, which uses an additional tank to store the oil so it's like a two-stroke engine that we often encounter. Then the process, this oil will be pumped into the intake to lubricate the housing, so it doesn't need to be mixed with fuel. The Norton and Hercules motorbikes apply a more straightforward method, relying on oil mixed with fuel. So even though this engine has a power cycle identically to a four-stroke cycle, in the early era of its development, the engine's oil consumption from the Wankel engine is not inferior to the two-stroke engine. Moreover, if we remember the oil embargo crisis in the 70 seconds, the price of gasoline and oil at that time shot up. Of course, this condition became a nightmare for the manufacturers who developed this Wankel engine. The reason was that the people also avoided using this Wankel engine. This is why, big manufacturers don't want to develop Wankel engines. Then continued into the 80 seconds. At that time, only David Garside from Norton was still developing Wankel engines on motorcycles, as a pioneer who insisted on developing this masterpiece. This condition is different from the Suzuki manufacturer, who chose to give up in 1976 and was followed by Hercules and DKW in 1977. Now, because oil and gasoline will be mixed and burned in this engine, we will get a second problem. That emission thrown away from this motorcycle will definitely be very bad. And, of course, all these emissions also result in inefficient fuel consumption. So, to overcome this problem, the Mazda company managed to find a way to overcome this problem by using two spark plugs, where the fire will be ignited two times in a row in a short time when the combustion process occurs. However, it's a pity, because basically, there will always be oil burning. This condition forced Mazda to stop using the Wankel engine in 2012 because it was judged that it would no longer be able to qualify for Euro 6, and only stuck at Euro 3. And, that's all, the story of the Wankel engine's journey on both two-wheeled and four-wheeled vehicles. As usual, if there are criticisms, suggestions and questions, don't hesitate to enliven the comments column below. I am Carrier, see you in the following video.